This epic adventure started when Hansi picked me up and drove us to the Val. While we were driving, we recorded a podcast which is available for you all to listen to on the It's Tip Top Fishing YouTube channel. When we arrived at the venue, we were greeted by all the locals. After our arrival, we had to make a quick pit stop. So this is not a normal pit stop. No, I'm talking to the camera. Yes, Hans. So I've stopped us because we've got signal now. Because this doer forgot his headphones at a computer place. So I have to phone them to say, do they have my headphones? Please hold them. So we're setting up in the meantime while we're waiting to be calling number 758. Set up the rods, put on the waiting shoes. At least we're using the time effectively. Right, I'm so happy I got through. Okay, so um, basically I'm an idiot and I'm hoping you can help me. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Have a good day. Cheers. Bye. She doesn't have it in the lost and find. She doesn't have it, so she says she's gonna look for it and hopefully find it. Let's hold thumbs, hands. Let's hope. Oh man. Let's hope. What an absolute twist. But now we can go fishing. Now Hansi is a professional fly fishing guide and I was lucky enough for him to take me to one of his secret spots. This spot is particularly good because even though we went on a Saturday, we almost had the entire river section to ourselves. Last bit of the journey which has been made interesting because we've got some rods on the roof, Hansi holding them and driving them. And I'm filming because that's how I'm helping. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the thickest bush ever. So we are finally here. Most of the delays, when I say most, I mean all of the delays are my fault. And look at that. Holy shit. That looks amazing. Guys, we are in paradise. Absolute paradise. Hansi, you know all the spots, but. Huh? Hansi's onto a fish. And it's taking him down the rapids. Oh, get it, Hans! Get it, Hans! Yes, boy! Ah. Woohoo! He says it last. We haven't been fishing that long. A bar of gold. Look at that. Yes, Hansi. Going back in the water, putting his face into the current so he can breathe. Plenty of oxygen, water. And then it kicks out of your hand. Hansi's just changing the fly. He caught it on an orange what? Orange beaded? Caddis. Caddis. A flexi caddis, like the video I make. Is it like the one you made? Yeah, it's on that fly. So there's a video online right now. Go to CMF, uh, right, no, Catch Me Fishing Facebook page. The video is on there. And Hansi showed you exactly how to make the exact fly he's using. He used a different size, a slightly different color on this fly. It's the same stuff, but it's just a slightly different color. This one's darker than the one he showed. So, if you want to make that fly, the red one is go to Catch Me Fishing, and you can see exactly how to do it with what materials. It's all there. Captain Shaw. He knows where to cast, eh? he knows exactly where to cast. Ah. Yay! Yes, sons! What a beautiful fish, that's a big one. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on! 
fiddle one, but I've got a fish on. Hudson! Oh, it's such a cool little fish. Let's get the net quick. Yes, hopefully I got that on. Yay! Woohoo! Look at that little guy. Hello, little fish. Oh, grumpy. Yes, a lovely little yellow. Beautiful little fish. How happy am I that I got a little fish? Hey! Hands are wet, obviously. Oh, okay, he was ready to get back. <laughs> yes! After that first fish, I was harmed and I just had to get another one. Hansi then gave me a tip or two on where to fish and how to find them. And after a bit of walking in the river, before long, I found some tailing carp, which is usually a good giveaway for yellowfish who often school and feed alongside the carp. Oh, don't let the line slack, Keaton. I think it, it might be a carp. I saw a carp now. I touched it with my rod. I don't know what it is. <laughs> this is so exciting. That's one thing that this river fishing has got that, that sea fishing has got as well. You don't know what type of fish it is because so many things eat the flies that you use. You know what I mean? Oh, this is so exciting. Please fish stay on. Okay, with yellow fishing, Hansi always said, take it upstream and then bring it back into your net. Oh, it's a decent one. I'm ripping out! Look at this thing! <laughs> That's my biggest yellow ever. 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 <laughs> Most biggest ever I've ever caught. Oh, I'm so chuffed. Look at this beautiful, beautiful fish. So Hans took, took me out, gave me a rod to use, he tied all the flies I'm using. We caught this on an orange bead caddis, a black caddis, and that's what we've been catching all the fish today on. Hans worked out their pattern early on, and that's just how it works. Oh, I'm so chuffed. So chuffed. In this, in this fast moving water, this fish picked it up. One more thing to do, and that's to let her go. Let's let her go. I'm so chuffed! Woo! So happy right now. Let's catch another one. Let's catch another one. <laughs> This video was brought to you by catchmefishing.co.za a one-stop online store for all of your fly fishing tackle and fly tying needs. Visit catchmefishing.co.za the link is in the description. So we're stopping off for a bit of lunch. Now about half past one. Hans he's caught, I don't know how many. I think he's caught about four or five, but big ones like Kilo, kilo and a half, small mouth. Very, very nice fish. Um, but yeah, having a bit of health lunch, uh, garage pie, health lunch. You know, all the health experts say this is the healthiest thing to eat. <laughs> so you saw fish tailing, eh? Yeah. But what are the fish actually doing when they're tailing? Oh, I love it. yourself a lovely day, chicken. Same spot again. Same spot again. Are you going to go back? No. He's just picking up. And Hansi! You're now another day. Now he's 
did it taping me. Guys, sunblock. I found this one for 25 Rand. Sunscreen. Serious guys. Try not to burn. Skin cancer is real. What's that song? Where's sunblock? <laughs> <laughs> That's the song. song. Was... Where's sunblock? Where's sunblock? It's ridiculous. Ah, spot the fish. Finally. Finally, it's happened to me. Right in front of my face. I'm in can't describe it. Yes, I don't know the lyrics. But I do know there's a fish pretty close. No, I'm good. I just thought I got it on camera, but I didn't. That's alright. Still onto this fish. Let's just not lose it so you can at least see it. Oh! Yes! It's even bigger! Even bigger. That's it, it's even bigger! Look at that fish. Oh, you fought so well. Look at that. A wonderful, beautiful yellow. And this, I think, is a female. Because his, so his head is smooth. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Let's let her go. Happy days! After releasing that beautiful fish, we kept on fishing. The day just couldn't have gone any better, with myself landing three fish and losing one, and Hansi catching seven fish, most of which were over a kilo. He even caught fish while moving between spots. Fish! Yes! Again! Watch the current. Look at the current. Look at the fish. Look at the fish. Look at that fish. Yes, Hans. <laughs> Bloody brilliant. If you'd like to get hold of Hansi so that he can take you out, teach you everything you need to know, tell you what gear you actually need to fly fish in the Vol, and help you catch some of these beautiful fish, give him a call on 082-604-5122. And that's it for this episode of It's Tipped Up Fishing. If you like this video, please pop us a like, or even better, please share and subscribe so you don't miss out on the videos that come out almost every week. Till next time, tight lines, guys. Yeah.